the current economic challenge in the country. We've had, I've spoken to some uh, delegates as well, talking about the fact that they saw some lapses in their current executives, uh, saying that some of them did not really pay attention to the grassroots, and also talking about some of the economic challenges happening in the country as of now. What are your expectations, and what was your, I mean, your assessment of the current executives? You know, we should first of all remember that the current executives helped us to win a second term. To win executive power is the most crucial. We lost some seats here, but because I also participated in the last elections, anyone who puts all the blame on the national executive is not being fair. I know party people who were so much engaged in infighting that they were ready to vote against their own candidates. Sometimes when you win power or when you are comfortable, you forget yourself and engage in acts that are self-destructive. And I think that if we, we, we come together and we forget about our um, small internal issues and focus on the big agenda, which is to break the aid, it will help all of us. And I also believe that those national executives, and that's not to say that I'm giving a blanket endorsement for the current executives. I believe that anybody who has fought it has learned something from what happened. And those people will be in a better position or will be in a good position to behave in an appropriate manner going forward. Some of the new entrants also have some good ideas. And so largely, I would not stand here and tell them what to do. But I know that our delegates are very discerning and they will make decisions that will help us break the aid. I am confident in the people who have elected or who have given themselves for the election. And if you look at uh, in team, Stephen in team, he's an old hand, he's a calm person, he's an experienced person. I believe that he can do a good job. You look at Abankwa, very calm person, matured, a lot of experience. If you look at Professor Amir Kufi from President Kufi's time. So almost all of them are very matured minds. General Secretary John Buedu, I mean, uh, Kodia is a young person. John Buedu is also very experienced. So all of them have their unique attributes. It's for the delegates to tell which attribute is superior. And I believe that whatever they do, together we can break the hit with them. So we have the Deputy National Communications Director and the person of Dr. Richard Yabua Sarante, and he will be telling us his expectations for today. Good morning, sir. Good morning, my dear. Okay, so what are your expectations for today's uh, program? I think I'm expecting an extremely successful uh, conference. I'm also expecting that by the end of the day, the elephant, which is the mother of the party, will deliver a, a young and, 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 and a wonderful individual, both men and women, to lead the party into the next elections to guarantee us victory. Because at the moment, we all know that the elephant is pregnant. So the elephant will be delivering between now and by tomorrow, by I think 2 a.m., we know that our babies will be born. We will get to know who are being given to us by the elephant to lead us as a national chairman, which obviously is an obvious thing for all of us, who will become the general secretary, which is also obvious for all of us, we know. When you follow the sentiments of the people and also what we see on the ground, you get to understand that a good number of people and a very sizable number of people think that uh, it is time for us to give uh, a chairman the team, Stephen and team, the opportunity to lead the party into the next elections and that is very clear in the minds of the delegates because you, you talk to people I mean when we work with them and we're all members of the party and we talk to ourselves so we get to know that indeed that is going to happen so we are hoping that if those things that we see on the ground translate into votes then it means that by the close of the day the elephant would have delivered Seven, chairman 17 to lead the party into election 2024. And as a party, we know, because in running out to these elections, there will be a lot of things that will be said. People will be peddling propaganda against each other. People will raining insults and insinuation against each other. It is one of the symptoms of pregnancy. You know, our mothers when, and our wives and our sisters, when they are pregnant, you know, they will be vomiting here and there. Sometimes they even eat soil and eat all kinds of things. Things that rather are not normal, they don't know it. And they do that and they throw out this. All kinds of things happen. Those are the, the, the nasty aspect of the lessonary campaign within 
the party. But we do believe that after this war forged ahead in unionism, I do expect that uh, John Boadu would emerge as a general secretary mm -hmm. right after this Congress, based on the sentiments and what I see on the ground. I'm expecting to see that. If that happens, I know he will also come together and unite the team and forge ahead. From organizers, I see uh, Nanabi winning based on the sentiments that have been expressed by the people.